my name is Shamash, author of Mindfulness for Dummies, and every day this month we're going through a different way to well-being, uh, following the Action for Happiness calendar, which is a wonderful UK charity. So today we're on day seven, it's Saturday here in England, and the activity is be creative, cook, draw, write, paint, make or inspire. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by talking about some of the science benefits of uh, being creative, and then I'll talk about some ideas of things that you can do. But while you're watching, please feel free to interact. Let us know in the comments what, what you like to do that's creative, what, what cheers you up, what you enjoy doing, which is a creative act. Maybe you have some sort of creative hobby, so feel free to share with us. So let me go through some of the health benefits. So one of the first things that uh, it, that um, a lot of websites talk about when you're doing creativity, they say it improves a thing called flow. I don't know if you've heard of the concept of flow. Uh, in positive psychology, it's been quite well researched. It's that idea that when you're doing an activity and you get totally absorbed with it, you're really there, you're really in the present moment. I guess that kind of happens when I'm making these videos. I'm really present, I'm really engaged, and you kind of lose your sense of self. And so one of the nice things about doing creative acts is you, you kind of forget about other stuff and all the things that you need to do and all your worries and concerns because you're very much in the moment. So it can imp improve your, your well-being and happiness levels just by going into that sense of flow. But in addition to that, the fact that it's kind of uh, quite repetitive tasks, if it's things like painting or drawing or knitting, you get absorbed in it. And it's kind of like a mindful activity or it's almost like a meditation and it's a nice break from things like, you know, checking emails and, and doing other uh, routine activities you need to do. This kind of more meditative, rep repetitive act of, say, cooking or painting. It becomes quite relaxing in that way. And they've also found it releases a happy chemical. There's one happy chemical called dopamine, which is to do with our positivity and well-being. And that improves through uh, doing these kind of uh, creative acts. So that's one of the first benefits. Secondly... In terms of mental health, it can really improve uh, the way we process our emotions. So if you're feeling kind of low or you've had some sort of trauma in the past or you're feeling anxious, sometimes it's really hard to talk about it and, or talk to another person about it. And you're not really sure if you can do that. You can always go away and you can do a little creative act to help you process it. I remember when I was a school teacher, and when children were going through a hard time, uh, especially the younger ones, and you just give them a pe piece of paper and a pen or a pencil and they start drawing and it helps them to calm down by, because they're kind of expressing their emotions as they were scribbling away. So it can improve your mood and it can improve your, your mental well-being when you do these little acts of creativity. And one of the things that I wanna share and one of my tips today is to actually do that creative activity with someone else if you can, whether it's in person if you're allowed to, or if not, um, via phone call or Zoom call or something, because that connection, that social connection is a valuable part of it as well. So that's another benefit. Another one is particularly that I found that for people who are up for trying to play a musical instrument or you've played a musical instrument in the past, they found it helps to kind of increase the, the amount of connectivity between the left and right part of our brain, uh, which is kind of associated with being creative too. And according to uh, what I've looked at is, is good and healthy for us. So if you're drawn to wanting to learn an instrument or you do play an instrument, but you haven't picked it up for a while, that could be a nice activity to do and good for your brain as well. And there's all sorts of uh, suggestions for things that you could do. Um, but before I kind of dive into that, one of the things that I want to say uh, is to consider a few of these questions. So the first question, when you're thinking about what you could do that's creative, think about what do you or have you enjoyed in the past? Um, is there something that you've done in the past that you used to enjoy doing and you haven't done for a while? Um, maybe, I know I like a bit of painting and a bit of drawing. Uh, I used to play the keyboard in the past and I could pick that back up. Uh, so think about stuff that you used to do and you've kind of forgotten and that could be a good little clue for what you could do. Secondly, consider what can you do today for a minute or so to get started. So with all these things, there's always so many kind of tips and ideas and people are giving all sorts of suggestions. So if there's something that you can do to get started on it today, that would really, really help. So today's weekend, maybe it makes it a bit easier or harder, I don't know. 
for me it makes it easier because I've got a little bit more time and so you may um, want to make a little start maybe if you want to do something creative online with friends you can reach out with them you could uh, send them a message or maybe you could begin by just doing a one minute search online for some new hobby that you want to try doing or a new course that you want to join so there's some little see what you can do which would just take a minute today it wouldn't take ages to get you started on that path of being creative and then you can do more than a minute if you want but do a minimum of a minute someone suggested uh looking at the clouds is a is like a creative act seeing animal shapes within the shapes in the clouds and they're saying that uh, their kids love it too you can see that uh, coming up there so that's really cool i like that um and there's a nice a nice example of something simple as well and creative thirdly the third kind of extra tip i'm giving for creativity is what can you do with others um, so I know Vanessa King from Action for Happiness, who's head of psychology. I watched one of her lovely videos this morning and she was suggesting that she likes cooking with her friends. She can't do it at the moment because of the change in rules here in England. But she's going to use Zoom to do continue doing cooking with her friends via Zoom when she's in the kitchen as well. So I think that's a good way to adapt at the, at the present time. And we definitely need creativity to adapt in these times. Good. So in terms of other ideas for things that you could do that are kind of creative, I had a look at a few. So color, coloring in is, is a kind of a big one at the moment. People like doing that or just color pencil drawing is a good one. Another easy one to get you started if you're struggling on this is simply photography. Most people have got a smartphone now so you can go out and take some photos. And what makes it even more interesting is if you really really look carefully and observe carefully before you take the photo and another great suggestion that i saw here is try taking black and white photos okay it's, some, it's something a little bit different it gets you thinking differently and what would normally look quite great on a color photo may not look good black and white and vice versa so it gets you stimulating and thinking in a different way i think that's a nice tip Another tip was to write some short stories. Maybe you could write a little short story today or get the first paragraph started and maybe write a short story every month. That could actually be quite a fun thing for, for many people. And then maybe you can go on to writing a book. Uh, last time there was a bit of a lockdown, a couple of my friends got together and they wrote a book, um, which they shared with me, which I think is fantastic. Um, so why not do that? Maybe now's the, now's the time and now you've got a little bit more of an opportunity to do that. Um, so there's some suggestions. They also saw the idea of Lego. I noticed that people are, there's more Lego for sale these days. Um, are people up for doing that? I think even some executives use Lego to help them think more creatively uh, in meetings and stuff or come up with new ideas. I've talked about playing an instrument. Cooking is a great one. I've, I've mentioned photography. It doesn't have to be with your smartphone. You could even use, uh, you can actually get those Polaroid cameras now um, or just get some old camera with real real, real film. Who knows? Uh, and obviously gardening is another, another classic one and it's a nice creative act as well. So there's some ideas that I've given you. Um, if you've got any others, then let us know in the comments below and it'll be a great opportunity for you to become a bit clearer. Like, yes, I'm going to try that for a minute or two or um, maybe you can ask and there'll be others in the community that may want to give some suggestions for what they can do so it's a nice way to support each other also i mentioned Accurate for happiness the charity they've also got an app which i've uh, started using which is great too and if you turn the notifications on it gives you reminders for each of these themes each day of the month and then you can actually have a more of a community conversation there and quite nice in that it's away from the classic social media sites too they got their own little app action for happiness so thanks a lot for listening and for watching um i'm actually going to be offering a little retreat tomorrow as well uh sunday morning um i'll share it on twitter somewhere if you want to join uh, it's just donation based or free uh, for a couple of hours uh every sunday so um if that's something that you feel would be uh, nice for you you can join in that too Excellent, everyone. Thanks a lot for watching. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, which is going to be about find out something new about someone you care about. Ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.